Guys, I literally just got home from a haircut. You don't have to tell me, I know I look amazing. But look what we got right there, sitting on the door for me. Could it be? I think it is. We got another sneaker unboxing. So guys, we're back at it again. Another pair of sneakers to cut open. At this point, I'm convinced that I've unboxed more sneakers than a significant number of Foot Locker stores. Because it seems like it's at least a weekly basis that I'm getting a new pair of sneakers in the mail. And these are ridiculously heavy. And I'm pretty sure they're from Champ Sports which honestly I think could be a bad thing. If you guys didn't see, uh, some YouTubers got like those Under Armour uh, care packages from Champs with like a pair of shoes and some clothes and stuff and those shoes, no offense to Under Armour, I'm sure they're a great gym shoe, but look at me, I don't work out and those things are not casual shoes at all. So hopefully they're not those, but this is really heavy. So I don't see what else it could be. There's really only one way that we can unbox these and you guys know what that one way is. It's with a handy dandy, Mike's Hard Lemonade Key. We're doing this back in the studio, haven't been in here for a while it seems like, like at least a week, week and a half we haven't filmed a video in here. Nice to be back in here, but guys just want to let you know that we're almost at 10,000 subscribers on the vlog channel, which is amazing. My next goal on YouTube is to hit 100,000 subscribers over there, so if you guys would like to support as my phone is freaking buzzing in the middle of a video, I swear, no one wants to talk to me until I start filming a video, then everyone's my best friend and wants to send me a text. But anyway guys, Vlog channel, 10,000 subscribers almost. There's a button up there if you guys wanna go check it out or as always, there will be a link in the description. I'd really suggest that I post daily vlogs over there and it's pretty fun. But anyway, let's crack these guys open right now. I didn't even need the key today, this just ripped open. So, these are super heavy as I was saying and it looks like the box has taken a little bit of a beating right there, but who cares, it's a box and I have a few of them behind me there already, so I'm not losing any sleep over that. Here's the card. No one cares about this. Here are the shoes, which is what everyone cares about. Let's crack these open right now. Ooh, I see gold. I like gold. There is gold on these. Woo wee! These are nice. Like, I just squealed like a little girl. That's how nice these are. Let's pull these out right now. These are the Under Armour Curry 1, I believe, in this luxury blue suede colorway. So I just did some research. These haven't actually released yet. This is an unreleased pair of sneakers, which is pretty sweet. These do release August 13th, so in two days, but you know, I still have an unreleased pair of sneakers. Might have to wear these tomorrow and go to Champs or Foot Locker at the mall and just stunt on all the employees and be like, ha, you guys have these in the storeroom. I have these on my feet. I'm, I'm just kidding, don't do that. You'd look like a total asshole if you did that. But anyway, guys, pretty nice pair of sneakers. You got blue suede, you got gold, you got Warriors colorways. You got the Curry One, which let me say, is really weird how they're releasing the Curry One when the Curry 2 has been on shelves for almost a year and the Curry 3 is coming out right away but they're pumping out Curry 1 colorways. I don't understand it to be completely honest but it's pretty cool. It's a nice execution of a nice shoe. Let's take a closer look. So taking a look at these, the suede on them is, it's so-so, it's not like super high quality, except it's not garbage quality either, like this is the suede you'd expect for like a $120, $130 shoe, whatever these are going to retail for. You do have the exact same tooling as the regular Under Armour Curry one, so for all you guys that are going to ask in the comment section inevitably, can you play basketball in these? Yes, you 100% can, this is still a basketball ready sneaker, they just switched up the synthetic upper to a raw material, genuine material upper with this suede, and I think it's a pretty good look, I wasn't a big fan of the Curry ones, uh, obviously because I do not have a pair in my collection, but this is something you know I'd actually look twice at at the store and I might end up picking up, but I got it for free, so thankfully I do not have to. You got your translucent bottom right there, looking very, very nice with that icy blue, and then my favorite part of the shoe, you guys know how I feel about this. Hi YouTube, I think you can see my hand waving there. Uh, this is gold, and I love gold, you guys know how I feel about that. You got your SC30 logo right there on the back, very nice logo, I like that. I love the gold, and I don't think this is really gonna scratch off too bad, like some of these shiny gold uppers that they put on things scratch off right away. It's going to scratch off inevitably like everything will, but I don't think this will happen like the first time you put it on your foot. So that's the Under Armour Curry one in this luxury version, this lifestyle version, the EXT version, whatever you guys want to call it. I think it's actually a pretty nice pair of sneakers. There's a whole bunch of more colorways that are already releasing slash will be releasing. These do release on August 13th, as I said. But if you guys do want to pick these up, there will be a link down in the description where you can shop these when they do release on the 13th. And if you guys want to buy any Curry shoes, period, there will be a link for that as well. If you guys would like to actually be reminded that these release on the 13th, go follow me.
me on Twitter at TheRealRayRay20. While you're at it, follow my Instagram as well with the same handle. But I will be tweeting out on August 13th when these do go live for you guys that do want to purchase the sneakers. But you guys probably want to see what these look like on feet. I'm actually curious to see what these look like on feet as well. I'd say the best way to go with these would be like a really, really, really light wash denim. Like really light wash. Sadly, I do not have those in my possession right now. So I'll just be going with a regular blue jean. But I just wanted to say that's not what I'd recommend. Like super, super, super light wash jeans with these I think would be the best way to go. Black jeans would sort of wash out the blue as it is a darker color. And I don't think that would be the best bet. But you guys want to see what they look like on feet. Enough of me rambling. This is what they look like on feet.